Greetings, and welcome to this part of Let's Play Chronomaster. I'm Leo, and when last we left off, he had just stumbled on Milo, and he was about to tell us his story. Well, there's not much for me else, else for me to add, so let's begin the grand exposition of the plot. Remember, I'm a native of Siswick on the planet Pasqua. Pasqua? That rings a bell. Yes, that was the planet that was destroyed by a fleet of pirates. Seven fleets, actually. Seven of the most ferocious space pirates of the day joined forces to rape my world. Their combined fleets melt mined the most promising metals and minerals from orbit. They sold every able-bodied person they could capture into the infamous warrens of Galoo slave markets and executed everyone else they could find with a slow burn over all the areas of major habitation. But you escaped. I was rescued. My grandmother had been a Ditson cyber commander, and she still had the combat implants. She arrived home from her weekly night out, grabbed me, and wiped out the squad of pirates who had killed our family. She was indeed. To avoid the slow burn, Grandma Dolby and I hid in one of the abandoned mines outside of Siswick. After that, we scrounged from the land for six months before a tramp freighter chanced in system. Despite having me to care for, Grandma didn't waste her time while we were hoping for a ship. From rubble in the ruins, she pieced together who had been behind the raid. She made me memorize names and other data. When we left Pasqua, Grandma raised me with the help of some off-world relatives. She worked out the training I would need to get revenge. Martial arts, universe building, face sculpting. I think I see where this is heading. That's right, teacher. I'm the last survivor of the Pasqua Wipeout. Grandma Dolby died when I was 17. I firmly believe that when she used her cyber implants to save me, she cut her own life short. She knew that, too. That's why she spent the last years of her life readying me for a job she wouldn't be alive to do herself. I swore on her grave that I would finish that training and bring Pasqua's killers to justice. And Pasqua's killers are... You guessed it. The wealth behind God's pockets. The wealth that built those seven pocket universes is the blood of my homeworld, Pasqua. You know a shrike is a bird, often called a butcher bird. It has the nasty habit of impaling its prey on thorns. That's what I'm going to do with the pirates who destroyed Pasqua. Impale them on the thorns of justice. Or failing that, destroy them. So that's why your ship has that odd name. No offense, but I prefer Jester. So might I, little lady. But fate didn't work out that way for me. Now, you must be wondering why I've told you this long tale. Yep. I have, but I've also been willing to listen. Most people I would have knocked out from the get-go. But when you walked in, I thought, Corda is a good man. A talented man. He's just the ally I need. So let me put it bluntly. Will you join me in my quest for revenge and justice? Well, we've already tried arresting him. I'm pretty sure that will result in the same thing, even if we chose it here. So instead, let's help him. If you will agree to turn yourself in as well when all this is done, I agree to help you. That way, not only do you honor your vow to Grandma Dolby, but... I honor my contract to the old Terran government. Of course I'll turn myself in then. How else can I testify against the pirates? If that gets me a prison sentence, well, that is the price of vengeance. Then we have a deal? We have a deal. Now, I've shut down herbs and orans. It should be easy enough to gather up Dieter and Dwister when the time comes. If we shut off Fortuna, when I was in pursuit of you, I reactivated both herbs and horns. By girl. 
Merzel. Now those villains are free again. We'll need to start all over. I'm not certain that they were ever trapped. Both of those gentlemen apparently had access to bottled time. They were leaving their universes in stasis while they tried to figure out who had assaulted them. I see. They were more suspicious than I had even considered. Fine. Then we must assume that Alacra will also have bottled time. That's a fair guess. So, when we put Fortuna into stasis, Alacra will know what has happened and get very suspicious. Our only advantage will be that he will assume that I have failed. That's right. He won't count on both of us. I wish we knew where he is right now. Last I heard, he was going to participate in a regatta. He's probably still there. Then we have a chance to intercept him. First, we need to get this world into stasis. After we have Alacra, we can discuss our next move. Lights and sounds in the shape of a pyramid. Interesting. Right. Time to get to work on the world key. Instead of turning the world back on, we're now trying to shut it down. Simple enough. Right. So basically, a Simon Says puzzle. Here it goes. Come on. I pushed the button. Yes! Got it! <sighs> nice office. Yeah. Oh, well, Milo, always in a hurry. I guess I'll meet him at his ship. Yes, indeed. Well, now the world's in stasis. And I can do whatever I want.
I noticed last time I was getting some lag by walking through these halls, but it appears to be caused by the, the mouse cursor moving. These tunnels feel like they're closing in on me. So I'll try not to do that. for now. We can't go anywhere anyway. Because the world is in stasis, the uh, landing platform doesn't work. So I'm basically screwed. But anyway, now that security cannot see what I'm doing, let's take advantage. Gonna do a quick save in case I break something. Alright. I used the probability driver. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yay! Lady Luck. Yep, it definitely makes a difference. Even one chip gives me loads of cash. Alright, so I'm just gonna quickly get a lot more. I basically want to buy everything from the merchant. 50 chips! <laughs> Alright, I think that's more than enough. So I won't have to bore you with that. Sorry about me being quiet just at this Simon Says puzzle. I was really concentrating because my memory was totally letting me down. It happens. <sighs> I'm getting old. Alright, let's... Let's purchase. I'd like to buy something else. Hey, pick what you will! Alright. Can I take... Uh, one of those PDA advanced processes. Very good! By the way, I do buy all items. Except the cocktails back for half the purchase price. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so... Let's take a Fortuna Games. Very good! Well, that's good to know. Uh, take a rabbit's foot. Very good! Well, that's good to know. Uh, a nightgown. Very good! Well, that's good to know. And I think that's all he has. Don't know if it makes any real difference if we have these items, I just want to have them. Right, so now we have the PDA chip, which is here, which we then use on the PDA, or the other way around. Yep. Alright, let's go talk to Milo. Because now we still need a way to get Alacra. If he's got little time, there's no way Stasis is gonna stop him. Alright, Milo. What insights do you have? 
I have some tactical suggestions for the regatta. Let's take both our ships. Alacra may believe I am coming to help him and not run until we are close. Sounds good. An old alien sailor gave me this tip. He said, the path to victory is very deceptive. The right choice may not always be the winning one. Cryptic. But maybe we'll know what he means when the time comes. When I was trying to track you down, I went on your ship. Remind me to ask you later how you did it. I want to beef up security. No problem. When I was on the Shrike, I saw that you were building a stasis bomb. I have the particle decelerator. You need to finish it. Great. I'll forgive you for trespassing, then. That bomb could help us win the race. Did I give it to him yet? Let's go already! So impatient. Alright. I can't... I can't... I can't use that here. What the heck? We're wasting time. Officer, would you mind operating the controls to release our ships? Certainly. I'll be sorry to see that cute little PDA go, though. I don't suppose you'd sell it, would you? He'll need some bottled time, or he'll freeze up every time he moves away from us. We can't just tell him we've put the universe into stasis. No, but I have an idea. Officer, there is a state of emergency. Someone has put the universe into stasis. I need to have our ships released, and you will need bottled time in order to be able to operate the controls. State of emergency? Stasis? I wonder if this is related to the problems earlier. I'm sorry, I can't let you go without express clearance from Alacra. But Alacra may be in stasis himself. We need to go check the regatta and rescue him if needed. Why do you have bottled time? This is very suspicious. Guard! Guard! Well, that didn't work. Have any other ideas? Right. So, he likes the PDA. Well, with some imagination, you could fake some bottle time to be a PDA. Um, use bottle time on the paint then. Yeah, that did it. Painted bottle time. Use that. Officer, remembering how much you liked my PDA, I made you one of your own. It'll need batteries before it can fly, so you'll need to carry it for now. Thank you so very much. Now, wasn't there something you wanted me to do? That's right. You were going to work the controls to raise our ships to launch position. Of course. Come along, little friend. Let's send these gentlemen on their way. Then I can find you some batteries. Come on, what? On second thought. Let's just save here in case I've completely bollocks this up. I thought you had to give it to Milo. Oh, but anyway. Uh, let's get in position first. And then I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.